So, honestly, I do not have a name for the message. It kind of bounces between a lot of different things. Um, but I do want to talk about the enemy today and deceiving and kind of a lot of different things. So, really quick, I was watching The Young Messiah on Netflix. I don't know if you all seen it. Not going to lie, I'm not finished watching it. Um, I got distracted like 30 minutes in and started writing this Devo. So... Quick background, it shows young Jesus, and he's playing with a friend that happens to be a girl, and there's a group of bullies, and they're kind of just watching him, and Jesus, Jesus knows. Jesus is like, okay, well, these, these people are definitely watching me. Well, they came over and started bullying him for playing with this girl, and eventually the guy got on top of him and started punching him. <clears throat> and um, Jesus didn't really do much about it. Jesus was just kind of protecting himself, guarding himself, whatnot. And um, then the girl came over and hit the bully that was beating Jesus. And then the bully got up and went after the girl. And Jesus was like, stop. So he stopped. And then he was contemplating whether or not he wanted to go after the girl or if he wanted to go after Jesus or what he wanted to do. Well, he ended up going after the girl. And you can see this guy in the back. And he's kind of in in like a coat, a black coat. And didn't know in the moment, but that, so that was Satan, um, didn't know in the moment that nobody could see him other than Jesus. And Satan throws an apple right in front of the bully, and uh, the bully end up, ends up falling and hitting his head on the rock and ends up dying. Well, <clears throat> one of the bully's friends came over and was like, announced to the crowd that he was dead. And... Um, then he backs up and Satan whispers in the, bu- the bully's ear that just announced he was dead, it was him, and points to Jesus. And so the bully was convinced it was, it was Jesus that just killed him. They didn't know it was Jesus, but they were like, that boy just killed him. And, <clears throat> and so he fully believed him, and I think that that's so true now in these days that it doesn't... Let me back up really quick. Nowadays, if it doesn't line up with what, what makes sense to you and what you see, then you don't believe it. It doesn't make sense and you blame the wrong person or you blame the wrong thing. And this is where the faith and like essentially the faith comes in and you believe the Lord. When the devil tries to tell you the things and you have to believe in God that that's not true and you really have to put that faith into him for that. And <clears throat> really just not listen to the, what the devil says because the devil's going to tell you things that you, you want to believe because you want to be justified, but you have to actually put, in, put forth into God and be like, God, what is actually the truth? What should I actually see even if I am wrong? Because I may be wrong 90% of the time. We are all sinners. We're all going to see things in the human way, and we have to put forth into God and really grasp that and really just trust in him. Um, and so... I always go to this verse. It's one of my favorite verses, Proverbs 3, 5. I'm sure all of you know it. But trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. So I want to take the do not depend on your own understanding because, like I said, it's going to look one way, but it's not going to be that way. It could be something completely different. Um, And then to add on to it, um, I want to talk about Ephesians 6. Chapter 6, verse 11 through 12. And so we were talking about putting on the armor of God, and we went through that, those chapters. Um, it says, really quick to go through 11 and 12, it says, put on all the armor, put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against the strategies of the devil. So that was a strategy the devil had to get people against Jesus because the Satan knew who he was. Satan knew that was Jesus. And so they wanted him against him. And later on in the movie, you can see people are completely against Jesus, and he had to hide and away from the crowd and away from the public. So Satan's gonna use all these strategies to get you away from Jesus and you just have to stand firm and really just keep going at at your relationship with God. Um, And then verse 12 says, for we are not fighting against flesh and and blood enemies, but against the evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in the dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. We are constantly against evil, we're constantly against enemies and we have to keep pushing and keep fighting for what we want and what we want as Christians is we want that relationship with God. So we have to keep fighting. That's what I have.